All right, my dear students, good morning. Welcome to your grammar class. So today it's Friday 2nd, my goodness. So Independence Day is almost. So let's see, the Independence Day, Independence Day is coming. So good morning, Mr. Valencia. Good morning, Alessandra. Good morning, Claudia. Good morning, Mariela, Gloria, Michael, Nancy, Sadie. Hey, there are some, good morning, Mr. Siganam. There are some students missing, so, okay, guys, how are you doing? How are you this beautiful morning? I love Fridays. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, levante ese hombre, ya, sal, ya quite la, la, la sábana de encima, pero no sea, no sea exagerado, ya, ya amaneció, miren qué bonito está el sol. My goodness, yes. I don't know, but yes, this this is a beautiful morning, my dearest. I'm gonna start, and well, I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna um, yes, and I'm going to finish with the readings. Okay, so today we are going to read about elephants. Let me ask you, Sadie, could you please turn on your audio, my dearest? Of course, you can. Hey, Sadie, talking about elephants. What do you know about elephants? Uh, the elephant that are very big, mm -hmm. vegan. Um, big or bigger? Bigger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Um, Remember, we use uh, comparative adjectives when we are comparing two objects to people, uh, to, yeah, to no, people, no. places, yes. Or, yeah. Yes, but for comparative use, bigger, but in the superlative is biggest. So what about animals? Because you say they are bigger. Maybe yeah. they are big, simple. You got it? Cuando digo, ah, son grandes. Big mm -hmm. or bigger? Mm, maybe only big. Exactly. Continue, please. Yes, tell me more they, about it. They are intelligent. Of course. And um, great. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. Only okay. That. Thank you so much, my dears. Could you please choose a boy? Uh, Michael? Michael, good morning, Mister. How are you doing this beautiful morning? Beautiful morning. I'm really good, but the weather is a kind of bad. Ah, yes. Well, I love rainy days, but in my case, because I don't have problem because I work from my home, but home office. But uh, it is a shame because some people have the necessity to go out, right? So, but it's my really question, bad. yeah. But my question for you, Michael, is what do you know about elephants? Elephants in mm -hmm. the cartoons uh, tell us that they are scared from the rats. This is a real information or is just for cartoons? I think it's unreal. <laughs> I think no, I, I look for it because I don't know. Mm -hmm. What else? They are one of the biggest, it's mm -hmm. not the biggest. It's one of the biggest. Mm -hmm. What else? They have a good memory. They remember a lot of things about mm -hmm. things that they do. All right. Thank you, Mister. Please choose a lady. Noyola. Miss Noyola, good morning, my little. How are you? This beautiful morning. Hi. I'm um, great. Excellent. Miss Noyola, do you know about elephants? Or what do you know about it? Mm. Yes, in general, teacher. I don't have, I don't know many details, but yes, some uh, details. Yeah. I'm sorry. No worries. No, no worries. Yeah. Uh, I know that elephants are big. Excellent. Uh, and also, some people say that. They are like looking for looking. Oh, nice. Okay. In Hindu, yes, they have that kind of yeah. traditions and beliefs. Mm -hmm. And also, and some people use it for transportation. Oh, wow. Okay, excellent. In Thailand, right? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Please choose the last boy. Thank you, Miss Noyola. Anthony. Anthony, good morning, mister. How are you doing? Good morning. Hey, mister. Hey, what? <laughs> What's so funny? 
Are you excited for my class? Yes, teacher always. Uh -huh. Always. Oh, <laughs> Amy said, what do you know about elephants? Okay, to the other, I consider that I have a... Um, uh, sorry, <laughs> sleeping now. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, I know that elephants are one of the biggest animals mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. Also, they, they like eat plants. Mm -hmm. And they are uh, sometimes in the nature. Mm -hmm. They are they are dangerous because mm -hmm. they make angry easier. Mm -hmm. And also, there are, there are their lives in groups of elephants. Exactly. ¿Saben cómo se dice? O sea, lo literal, ¿verdad, mister? Es en grupos, pero hay una palabra exacta. Thank you. Gracias a todos, de verdad. Antes de continuar, quiero, quiero mencionarles algo. Quiero que de verdad me ponga atención. Échese el café. Si no le gusta el café, échese aunque sea un té, no sé, para que despierte. Porque, señores, la lectura que vamos a ver ahorita es lectura, es lectura de Toffel. Esta lectura salió en el 2015. Entonces, es muy probable que, porque cada cinco años vuelven como a sacar lo mismo. Entonces, esta lectura es del 2015. Obviamente, por el tiempo no, por el tiempo y porque yo sé que ustedes se aburren un poquito rápido al estar leyendo mucha información, pero aquí he, sac he sacado como, como no, lo, no lo importante, sino que he sacado algunas partes, he sacado algunas partes, está esta. Eh, por ejemplo, ¿alguien sabe? Hey, ¿Alguien sabe cuáles son las partes de un elefante? No, five, four. For example, ¿cómo se dice la parte de la nariz? Ajá. Uh -huh. Trunks. Exacto, Trunk. muy bien. Trunk. Ahora bien, antes de leerla, quiero que observen acá. So, let me see. I'm going to ask to Mariela, could you please help me to read the parts of the elephants? Okay. Back, ear, head, eye, tusk, trunk, mouth, Two nails, feet, leg, tail, and pink skin. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much. Mariela, I got a question for you. Do you know, Mariela, and please, guys, try to follow me, okay? Do you know, Mariela, how elephants show their feelings? Do you know how elephants show their emotions? Yes or no? Yes, I do or no, I don't? Good morning, Glorita. Yes? No, miss. All right. No, thank you. Okay. This is my business. Yo les voy a enseñar. Pero in general, let me ask Nancy. Nancy, do you know how elephants show their feelings and emotions? Yes, mm -hmm. I do, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Ah, Nancy, yes? Yes. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. you, say, you say yes. You, you, uh you say yes yes, <laughs> yes please go yes, ahead I consider, <laughs> I consider that the elephants are sociable mm -hmm. and, um, and emotional too all right because, but but uh, but excuse me excuse me my little princess my question is a specific yes of course they are emotional blah, blah blah but my question is nancy do you know how elephants show their feelings and emotions do you know there is a specific Detail. There is a specific action that they like to do in order to, yes, Mr. Portillo. Maybe. Oh, excuse okay. me, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Nancy, yes or no? <laughs> Perdón, que ahí la deja. Yes. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, please. Uh -huh. Give us. Uh -huh. Five, four, three. I think Nancy having some problem with. Mm hmm Yes, okay, no worries. Okay, no worries, Nancy. Please, Mr. Portillo, go ahead. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. How are you doing? Um, so so. So so, why? Um, I feel tired, but. Uh, I didn't for what? A... Uh, excuse me. I, if this is your person. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because maybe I, yesterday I did a lot of things. So that's why oh, I feel tired right. today. But trying to get better university issues oh no 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 this oh, is okay. uh, personal all right thank you so it's so, okay thank you so much i don't want to get involved <laughs> so <laughs> mr portillo do you know how elephant shows their feelings and emotions yeah i think that this is this this is represented also in in, in dumbo 
that is the part that they like to touch <laughs> them with the trunk yeah, and also they emit some sounds. Yes, exactly. Simple as that. Yes, elephants show their feelings and emotions by using, look at my cursor, by using their trunks. Yes, it is. Okay, so I got, another, I got a second question. Do you know how elephants can perceive sounds from a very long distance? Which part do they use in order to have the capacity to receive sounds? Yes, do you know it? Someone, five, four, three. O por lo menos día me teacher, no sabemos porque yo digo que ya están durmiendo. Yes? No? Exactly. Yes, according to Miss Noyola, by using, look at their feet. All right, so any question about it? No, five, four, three. I got another, I got a third question. Estas fueron preguntas de TOEFL, por eso se las estoy haciendo. I got a third question. Espero que vaya notando que no solo se, se quede viendo. En serio, de verdad, ponga atención, porque esto es para ustedes, mis amores bellos. Ustedes son súper inteligentes, pero nos distraemos un poquito rápido. Tengo otra pregunta. How can I, how can identify an Asian elephant from an African elephant? Mm -hmm. How can I identify an African from an Asian elephant? There is one, just one specific characteristic. Yes? Why? Or oh, tell me not, teacher, we don't have any idea. Maybe the color? Uh -huh. No, but thank you. No, because in Africa we got great elephants, <clears throat> and also in in Asia we got a, a great elephants too. But thank you, Mister. Another yes. By the size. The ears are different. Exactly. Could you please, Mister Sigaran, repeat it? Yeah, the ears are different. Exactly. The ears are totally different. Thank you so much. So let's continue. So now I got a I got a test. I got a test and let's see. I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose Glorita. Could you please help me to read? When I said stop, I'm gonna choose a second student. So please try to follow Gloria. Okay, Gloria, please go ahead. Okay, teacher. Last week an elephant was found in the house of Le Lake Lakeside. 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 Lakeside Elementary School. This large animal probably came to the school after it escaped from the zoo. I got a question. Solo leyendo las primeras dos líneas, señores, this is a real or this is an unreal story? Five, four, three. Real. Could be? All right, continue. Thank you, Gloria. Okay. One student believes that the elephant followed her back to school from a file trip her class took to the Lakeside Zoo two weeks ago. In an interview, she said, I felt like I really bond, bonded with bond? an bond with an elephant at the zoo. Okay, one of my questions for today morning is, what is bond? But please, it's, don't say it now because this is one of my questions previously. All right, uh, continue, please. Yes, I fed, I fed it. I fed it lots of peanuts and candy. Right before we left, I looked in its eyes and I knew that it would try to follow me. Gloria, choose another one, please. Uh, Anthony? Anthony, could you please? No one? Yes, no one is sure that this is the same elephant that was seen that day. But the fact of the elephant came to Lake Lakeside of all places, as then many all believe that the story. The elephant was last seen using in truck to drink water from the water fountain. 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 Mm -hmm. It is also made loud noise in the hall. In the how that sound like the school will ring. Really. Uh, stop, I got a question. Choose a student, please, Anthony. Choose a student, boy or girl, it doesn't matter. Uh, Noyola. 
Miss Yola que era cuello, ahorita la Miss la Miss Yola te acaba de hacer unos ojos, pero tú no, mi modo virtual no se ve. Miss Yola que era cuello. Okay. So, as you know, elephants use their trunks in order to show their emotions. But what is a second characteristic about elephants trunk? Yes, tell me about it. Could you repeat that, please? Yes, of course, a pleasure. Okay, as you know, elephants use their trunks in order to show their feelings and emotions, right? So, what can be or what could be a second characteristic about their trunks? According to the test. Oh, according to you, uh huh. Ya sabemos que utiliza su trompa para, para <coughs> abrazar y demostrar sus, sus uh -huh. sentimientos. But what can be another characteristic about the trunks? They can get the, the water and they can like leave that, that water. And, mm -hmm. and I don't know how to say that, like splash. Yes, it's, it, yo, yes, it is perfect. Thank you. Jocelyn, continue, please. With the um, it also made loud noises in the house that sounded like the school bell ringing. Principal Rodriguez and many teachers are confused and unhappy with this, with this situation. They don't know how to get this elephant to leave the school. Choose, please, choose a boy. Please. Okay, please, Visito, continue. Okay, Lakeside Elementary School students very much like having an elephant around. Many students have offered to take care of the elephant, and it has been given the name Lola. A petition will probably be passed around, asking that the students sign if they want to keep Lola here instead of at the zoo. Thank you so much and thanks to all of you guys. Look at elephants got 10 or more characteristics. Number one, an elephant is consistent. It means like a, they never give up. Elephant works as a team. In this case, ¿cómo le diríamos al, vale, por ahí alguien me dijo al inicio, es que le gusta vivir en grupos, pero hay una palabra en específico para este tipo de animales, five. Four, three. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. no, but thank you. Okay, no, but thank you. Community. No, but thank you. They like to live in colonial. Colonial, mm -hmm. como colonies, también se puede decir, como en colonias. Manada. Exacto, para nosotros es manada de elefantes. Okay, excellent. Number three, the elephant body is perfect. Could you believe it, guys? But my goodness, teacher, but he's fat. Yeah, but his body is perfect. So, number four, elephants are social. Yes, they are. Five, elephants eat healthily. Saludablemente, este es un adverbio. Six, elephants are intelligent. Please, guys, pay attention to the characteristic because I got a question related with his part. So, elephants are problem solvers. Hey, Claudia, what do you get about elephants are problem solvers? What do you understand about it? I think teacher, the elephant is very, uh, is a uh, pacific, uh, uh, yes, it's pacific. Animal. All because, right. Mm -hmm. Because he, uh, the animal uh, is very social. Oh, okay, thank you. Let me ask you, let me ask you, let me, Alessandra. When, look at number eight, look at seven, excuse me. Elephants are problem solvers. What do you understand about it? Maybe they don't need help. Okay, so thank you so much. A volunteer, please. Elephants are problem solvers. Yes, thank you. Sigaran, Sadie, Nancy, Michael, Mariela, Mr. Portillo. Yes, Gloria, Hacks. I think that... Because that I... 
Nayela. Ladies first, okay. No, Michael first. My goodness. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. yes, please. I think that the all of us, if they have a problem, they look for a, 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 the better answer. The all right. Answer. The better answer or better, or better option could be, yeah. right? Let me yeah. ask. Yes, no, Yola, please tell me. Yes, because elephants are helpful because when I when there are problems, they always help me. And they have the capacity to. Okay, yeah, number eight. Very excellent. Elephants are determined. Elephants have great memories. Elephants have fears too. Okay, so now look at, let's continue. I got one, two, three, and four questions. Mr. Portillo, would you like to help me to read the four questions, please? First, yeah. do you think this is an unreal study? Number two. In line five, the word bounded, it refers to number three. How did the student realize that the elephant was going to follow him? Number four, do you think you have any characteristic as the elephant has? Perfect, thank you so much, Mr. So guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you no more than three minutes to be ready. I mean, try to order your ideas and then I'm gonna start in order. So Mr. Valencia, you will be the first one. So please guys, try to order your ideas. I'm going to ask you the four questions below. Teacher, is this the attendance for today? No way, this is not my attendance. Okay, so guys, be ready in three minutes. All right, so who's, uh, excuse me, do you ready? My goodness, are you ready, guys? <laughs> yes, we are. My goodness, yes, y quedó grabado. Do you ready? No, hombre, espérenme, me voy a dar un, 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 
ay, perdón, yo estaba aquí, ok, so, I'm gonna start with Mr. Valencia. Are you ready, Mr.? I guess. All right, thank you. So, please, choose the next, the next one. Miss Noyola is having problem with her internet, so, <clears throat> let me see, Sonia is missing. Okay, solo ellas dos tengo ahorita. Muy bien, so, please, Mr., choose the next one in order to be ready. <clears throat> okay, por ti. All right, Mr. Portillo, please. Okay, so, vamos a hacer algo. Mr. Portillo, please, would you like to help me to ask the four questions to your partner? Of course. Okay. Mr. Valencia, do you think this is an unreal study? Uh, yes, I consider this real. Uh, no, it's unreal. Why? Why? I don't know, in my mind, don't, in, don't get it why it could be that possible that uh -huh. in some place, um, a, a elephant go out for this place and are making for saying this way, sister in the city. Excellent. Okay, remember, guys, this is in order to pro continue practicing and please try to give us as more details as you can. Number two. Number two. In line five, the word bonded, it's referred to. I do you know I don't get the context. Of the bonnet in yes, the Yes, Luca. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna read it again for you. Let's see. Five. I felt like I really bonded with an elephant at a zoo. What can be a synony? I'm not asking for could you please translate? No, no, no. I'm asking for the definition. You got it or no? If you don't if you don't got it, no worries, okay? This is just a practice, yeah? Yes or no? Bonnet, eh, yo lo he buscado y sería algo como sin huesos, algo así. Mm, no, but this is like, this is like an expression, but okay, but thank you. Number three. Number three, how did the student realize that the elephant was going to follow him? Okay, I, maybe my memory is bad, but I think it's because the list the boy listened and uh, the, the noise that the elephant makes with his trump. All right, four. And number four, do you think you have any characteristic as the elephant has? Okay, maybe yeah, I consider the I have the I uh, and determinate like the elephant a goal, so I consider that my body is perfect. Wow, I got a question. Why do you consider you are a determinate person. Be Why? Because if I start a project or something, mm -hmm. I I go to the to the end. I don't I don't want me uh, leave them. All right, perfect. If now, I start it, I finish mm -hmm. it. Perfect. Thank you, Mister. Now we are gonna switch, Mister Valencia. Please, you are, would you like to help me to answer four questions to Portillo? Yes. Okay. Okay, sir. Do you think this is an un unreal story? Of course, because also, if I'm not mistaken, at the beginning of the study, it said the student believes. So that means that it is believes, right? Okay. In line number five, the word bond, it's referred to? Uh, based on the context and all of that, I consider that it's like a create a connection. Connection. It's okay, exactly. Okay. How did the student realized that the elephant was going to follow him. There are th three things, but I'm not sure about that one because they, uh, well, in the study mentioned that he feed the elephant and also he created that connection with it. And also it is referred to the thing that you mentioned that is the noises that the elephant made with with its trunk. All right, the first one is a, is a perfect one. Okay. Okay, four. Okay, uh, do you think you have any characteristic as the elephants are? That is a great one question. And yeah, 
I consider that it's number 10. Elephant has fears too. Because as me, I'm fierce on all of things and I'm afraid all, always to fail in things. However, it doesn't stop them. They have been uh, working with, they have been handling that, that things in order to solve the problem, in order to be social, healthy, intelligent, and all of that. So that's why I consider that that one is my characteristic. Thank you guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it when you give us a long explanation. Thank you. So, volunteer or may I choose by myself? Five, four, three, two, one. Glorita, thank you so much. Please choose the second one, Gloria. Uh, Nancy, maybe. Okay, Nancy. Nancy, would you like to help me to ask the four questions to Gloria? Okay, teacher. Perfect, go ahead. Do you think, Gloria, this is an unreal story? I, yes, I think it's real because I never heard that something like that happened in the real life. Mm -hmm. In California City, it is very common to see birds. It is very common to see birds, but elephants? Yeah, for me, yes. Totally agree with you because I consider this is an unreal. But who knows? Okay, so number two. Okay. In... In line five, the word bond, it's referred to? I think it is referred to a connection that <clears throat> someone has with something or someone else, I don't know. All right. Gloria, you can see bond is a bird that we can use just for animals? Uh, I think no. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, as I said before, it's like a connection. Exactly. And we prefer that we have a connection with a people or a person or uh, maybe also a thing, like a, a shirt or mm -hmm. skirt. Can I, use, can I use for objects, like, for example, the, the laundry, like, or for example, the vacuuming, Oh, yes, can I? Like a connection? Uh, could be. Are, sh are you sure? Okay, but thank you. But hey, guys, the words won't refer to having a connection. Can I use it for um, um like maybe. electrician? Or is it um, just a feeling? I think that is as a feeling. All right. So we cannot, right? Voy a, voy a conectar la, la, ¿cómo se dice? La aspiradora. I'm going to bond the vacuuming. It, it could be. Mm -mm. Okay. No. Excellent. So, thank you. So, please continue. Aquí esto le va a enseñar mucho, okay? So, number three. Yes, Nancy. Okay. How did the student realize that the elephant was going to follow him? Uh, because... Uh... They have a, they bonded and also because mm -hmm. the boy look at the eyes of the elephant and uh, in the reading sets that the, he knows that because he look at the eyes of the elephant. Hey, I like it, Gloria, because you said they have a connection. No way, they bonded. Ya no me digan, I have a connection with my son. I have a connection with my best friend, so I bond with my best friend, okay? Me encanta. Continue, please. Do you think you have any characteristic as the elephant? Uh, yes, and uh, number 10. 10, because I have many fears, but I try to uh, stay strong <laughs> and uh, fight with their their fears mm -hmm. to to be a more I don't know to be strong. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. To be a strong. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Vamos a analizar esto antes de continuar con Nancy. To be a strong es, no me están viendo, pero es como cuando tenemos la fuerza en nuestros músculos. Hey, qué fuerte sos para levantar pesas, etc. Pero si yo quiero decir, no en una forma literal, que yo soy fuerte ante los problemas, ¿qué verbo voy a ocupar? ¿Qué, qué adjetivo voy a ocupar? Perdón. 
Uh -huh. Five, four. Yo soy, yo soy fuerte, o sea, yo soy eh, eh, no, eh, cualquier situación y, y yo ahí estoy, pero strong es muy literal, como que okay, could be acceptable, but look at. Look at the chat, guys. So, oh, is there someone? Five, four, three, two, no. Look, brave. Brave. ¿Qué significa brave? Valiente. También se puede ocupar para decir que soy fuerte ante cualquier situación. Ok. So, thank you. And now, we are going to switch. Please, Glorita, would you like to ask the four questions to Nancy? Okay, teacher. Go ahead. Um, Nancy, do you think this is a real story? For me, no, because, uh, for example, in El Salvador, it's uh, almost impossible <laughs> that happened, but in the other country, uh, it's possible. But I consider the history referred to the um, other country. History. What, um, Nancy, what's the difference between a story and history? Uh, I don't know, teacher. Guys, what's the difference between a story and history? Five, four, three. I know two. it. He, okay, thank you, Mister. The history is when you have a background, for example, a Salvador story, story, and mm -hmm. and the other one is when it's something that is not real. For example, mm -hmm. Thai story. That that one is about toys. Exactly. For example, hey, let's read about Claudia Lars. Let's read about about her biography. So, real or unreal? Real. A story or history? History. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Continue, Nancy. Um, it's all, teacher. <laughs> all right. Number two. Uh, okay. In line five, the word bond. It refers to? For me, I consider that you know, this is a concrete uh, phrase. Um, it's the refer to the um, feelings or emotions. All right, three. How did the student realize that the elephant was going to follow him? Um, because uh, the students believed he had made a connection with the elephant and was, was uh, sure that the world uh, trust and follow him. And also one of the, one of the students feared it. Yeah, four. Okay, do you think you have any characteristics as the elephant has? Of course, uh, I consider that I'm person intelligent and determined to. Why? Because when um, the beginning... Uh, yes, of course, sorry. you are very intelligent, my goodness. Yes, of course, <laughs> but why do you call us yourself as a determinant woman? Why? Yes, uh, because in the long of my life, I um, I pass uh, many troubles. In como digo, I... yo tuve que enfrentar. Y no no me utilicemos literal. <laughs> como digo, yo tuve que enfrentar muchos problemas. ¿Alguna ayuda, señores? Five. Four. I had to face a lot of problems or a okay. lot of issues. I had to face. Como poner la cara, vea. Okay, Nancy. So, Miss Noyola, yeah. bienvenida nuevamente. Okay, Nancy, continue. Yes. Ya no digas okay. pas. Decir, I had, I had I to face. Have, I had to face um, some trouble. Mm -hmm. And I consider that a cre um, my, ¿cómo se dice? Me formé un carácter. I got my behavior. I got my behavior, mm -hmm. and for that reason, I consider I am a person determined. I consider that, that's why I consider I am a determinant, el adjetivo primero, okay? Determinant person. Yeah. I consider uh -huh. I'm a determinant person. person. <laughs> a determinant woman, right? A determinant mom, right? Thank you, Nancy. Yeah. Perfect. So I'm going to continue with Michael. Could you please turn on your audio? Are you ready? Yes, teacher, always ready. 
Yes, teacher, but the problem is that I haven't been in the class because my internet really? is really bad and I'm in the Zoom is like um, sacándome. Okay, so but look at the, the four questions. Are you ready to, to answer it? Or, excuse me, are you ready to give us your opinions? Uh, or would you, would you uh, like to participate I don't have at the read. end? Yes, look, please. Look, Can you tomale, send tomale me? Foto. Aquí está, espérame. Tomale foto ahí, porfa. Te dejo de último, okay? So I'm going to continue. Sadie, are you ready? Mr. Cigarán, are you ready? <clears throat> yes, teacher. All right. So, Michael, yes, you got it? The picture? Yeah? Yes, your microphone is on, but I can. I think, yes. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks. All right. Okay, a pleasure. So, Sadie, I'm going to start with you. Please, Mr. Cigarán, would you help me to ask the four questions to Miss Sadie? Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, Sadie, do you think this is an unreal story? Um, I don't know. I can pass because the word is crazy sometimes. Can happen. Can happen. Can happen. Okay. Can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can happen. Uh, but I mentioned the word it's crazy sometimes. But I think it now is real. All right. Uh, in life five, the word bond it refers to. Uh, in this part, I I imagine like the commercial when the mom um, accompanied her son, and if Reigns was a bird and project with her at, I don't know if they're a relation, but it's like connection. All right. How did the student realize that the elephant was going to follow her? Mm, maybe it's because the student, I don't know, uh, was um, um, first in imagine Tratemos, tratemos de was a, was a fair, no, was. Okay, mm -hmm. el a, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Y fíjate que esa es una, esa es una muletía. En realidad, yo sé que yo usted yo sé que ustedes saben perfectamente que en la gramática el ahí no va, vea. Pero fíjate que es una muletía como los salvadoreños que, que decimos a cada rato una misma palabra. Porque yo sé que perfectamente gramaticalmente ustedes lo saben, vea. Pero de cuidadito igual, vea. Continue. Ok, uh, the, student, the student maybe first and imagine an elephant eh, going to school. I don't know. Do you think you have any characteristic as the elephant has? Uh, yes, um, sometimes uh, I am social, determinate. And... Hey, hay una, hay, como aquí se trata de aprender, la teacher que nos interrumpe, pero es que me encanta porque se me vienen cosas a la mente que les va a servir a ustedes. ¿Cómo digo yo soy una persona social? Ajá, yo sé que ya lo saben, díganme, ¿cómo digo yo soy una persona social? I am a... A super a social person. All right. Pero ¿cómo podría ser en un nivel avanzado? Porque, señores, en las lecturas de TOEFL no les va a salir. She's a very sociable person, okay? Because she doesn't have problems to make friends. So, so but hay una expresión, se la saben. ¿Cómo digo? Soy una persona sociable, pero no así literalmente traducido. Any idea? Five, four. Could be like a kind person. Ok, me encanta, pero no. Lo que, es más que todo... O una, friendly person. ¿Es como? Friendly. Friendly, normal, ¿verdad? Sí, pero no. Muchas gracias, pero no. Sí se puede, no es que, no es que esté diciendo que no se puede, sino que no es la forma. Hay, hay un, este es un idioma, este es un idioma americano. You are looking for a specific word. Maybe Ana, ok, pero no. Por ejemplo, déjenme ver si en El Salvador existe alguna, quiero ver. Eh, ¿Se han fijado cuando a veces eh, los papás o, o alguien, no sé, o alguien ha dicho, es que vos pareces perico? ¿Por qué le decimos así a las personas o a alguien? ¿Por qué? Porque habla mucho. Porque habla mucho. Ey, vos, y, y antes, 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 hasta mandábamos a hacer, bueno, yo no, porque todavía no daba clases en ese momento, pero me acuerdo que los maestros hasta mandaban a hacer un sello del perico. Y si, si le ponían un sellito del perico a usted en el, en el cuaderno, era porque el niño había hablado demasiado en clases. Lo mismo en inglés. 
para decir que esta es una persona que, eh, o que tú eres una persona que te llevas con todo, miren. Esperen que se la estoy escribiendo acá. Espérenme, 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 que estoy escribiendo acá. Ahí está. I'm a social butterfly. Exacto. Si usted se considera una social... Uy, me van a decir los caballeros. Teacher, ¿y esto aplica también para los caballeros? Sí, aplica. Deje de pensar que, ay, la mariposita. No, de, de, deje de inventar. De, deje de pensar como salvadoreño. Si usted le dice a un gringo, Amazon, y usted siendo un hombre, Amazon social butterfly, él no va a pensar que usted es gay, con mucho respeto. O sea, si usted dice, no, teacher, pero yo soy, pues igual, ¿verdad? También si yo tengo muchos amigos así, pero el punto es este. Ay, no, mira, pues como somos bien bayuncos los salvadoreños, ¿verdad? Ay, una mariposa. No, aquí deje de inventar que estamos aprendiendo inglés. Entonces, Amazon social butterfly, right? So, interesante, ¿verdad? Bien. Yeah. All right, so. It's a new word. Exactly. Y, y, ok, y, y it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. Ok, I'm a boy, so hey, I'm a social butterfly. It means like a this person doesn't have problems to make new friends, right? So I'm a girl, so I'm a social butterfly teacher. Ok, so hey, nice, because you don't have problems making new friends. Ok, let's continue, Sadie. Perdón que te interrumpí, pero I consider this is important. All right, continue. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, teacher. Right. Um, Okay, I am a social butterfly. Uh, exactly. I'm intelligent and, uh, and I am determined. Mm -hmm. Only that. Perfect. Now we are going to switch. Miss, please help me to ask the questions to Mr. Luis. Okay. Luis, do you think this is a real history? Uh, yeah, I think it's a real because you know that you can give an answer, right? If you don't know. Uh, what is the location? But I I was watching in in Google in the internet. Uh, mm -hmm. Where is Lakeside? Maybe a uh, school elementary or elementary school? I don't know. Elementary school. Yeah, and it never uh, been uh, never has near uh, a zoo. So for mm -hmm. me, it's unreal because I was watching the location and it's many malls. It's, it's in the city, so it's it's can be not happen, right? Yeah. This patient can. Yes, perfect. Two. Okay. Um, in life, why the word bond, it's referring to? For me, it's, it's referring to make an emotional connection. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the kid and the elephant, maybe uh, the kid with other kid and etc. Amy said, I got a question. Yeah. How do you bond with your family? Mm, I don't know. ¿Cómo haces para tener esa conexión con tu familia? Invent, if you want. Mm, I don't know, maybe talking to dad and trying to be the best person, trying to be a very sociable, uh, mm -hmm. trying to be a most friendly with them, because many times I don't know the best. All uh, right. I try it. Yeah. Perfect. Three. Okay, um, how did the students really say that they realize? Okay, how did the students re realize that the elephant was going to fall on him? I remember that in a part said that he fed it a lot of peanuts, maybe, and candy, and that was the reason because the elephant followed him. All right, and the poor one. Uh, do you think you have any characteristic as the elephant has? Yeah, so I want, I have a question with the first characteristic. It's consistent or consistent? Consistent. Ah, okay, because it's, it's a word. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think I am a determinate and consistent too, because if I propose something, I do many times in a row. So... Uh, I think for that reason, I am a very determined and a very consistent. I am intelligent too, because mm -hmm. I learn many things, uh, maybe sometimes quickly, other times no, right? But yeah. 
All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Who's missing, please? Because I need to move on. Who's missing? Five. Michael. Michael, Michael thank you. Thank and you. Mariela. Mariela. And, all right. So, uh, Michael, Mariela, and Alessandra, right? Miss Noyola, let me know if you're ready to. Michael and Mariela. Uh, Michael, would you like to help me to ask the four questions to Mariela? Metamosle turbo, yeah, hijos. Sure. Porque me mm. quedan cuatro minutos. Yeah. Okay, Mariela, do you think this is an unreal story? Yes, for me it's not real because I think that uh, maybe it's possible in another country that an elephant uh, can get away to the zoo. <laughs> but, but can you imagine an elephant in front of your house? Y la Mariela ahí, este, ¿cómo se llama? Alimentándolo hasta con marina. Yes, but for me this is an unreal, but it, it, it may be, it may be it is impossible to happen in El Salvador, right? So continue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, and maybe an elephant enter on a school. No, for me, it's a real, a real yeah. story. <laughs> okay. In line five, the word bond is refers to? Okay, I think that is referred like a relationship, like an, a connection between the animal and the person, something like that. All right. How did you, how did the student realize that the elephant was, go, was going to follow him? Um, maybe it's for the noise with the trunk. Trunk, okay. Trunk, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you have any characteristic as the elephant has? Yes, I'm consistent. I think that uh, when um, I will always like uh, to be consistent with everything that I do, and I don't like uh, to leave anything. Incompleto, how do you say incompleto? Incomplete, or before to or be, before to finish it. Okay, before to finish. And I like a project different es, goals. Esa, before to finish, y, y tenés que agregarle el, el, el pronombre, it. Siempre, before to finish, it. Porque okay. está re bien. Antes de finalizar esta actividad, okay? So, excellent, please. Now we are going to switch. Princess, please, ask the four questions to Mr. Michael. Okay, Michael, do you think this is an unreal story? Yeah, completely. <laughs> Even <laughs> in the beginning of the story, it says that the kids believe mm -hmm. that the elephant was following her. Follow, following her. <laughs> and it's really difficult that an elephant <laughs> get out of a zoo. Mm -hmm. You have cards, you have a lot of things, and it's a uh, Big animal, how can you don't see it? Yes, okay. Number two. In light by the word bond, it's referred to a connection. In the history, it says that the kid make like a like a relationship with the elephant. So bond it means like a connection. All right. Okay, and how did the students realize that the elephant was going to follow him? Uh, the noise and the imaginations make a good connection. <laughs> so I can say that everything the kid invented. All right, the fourth one. Do you think you have any characteristic as the elephant has? Yeah. First, I work as a team like the elephants. I think that if you work in teams, you make a better a better job. A, I'm a really social. <laughs> I like to be talking like to everyone. And I like to, yeah, like butterflies. Okay. <laughs> I'm a butterfly. <laughs> Yeah, it's really and, uh, as a man, I'm a bother, yes, but this is an American slang. Yes, no worries. This is an American slang. Okay. Uh, I'm really intelligent too, and I like to look for a lot of ways to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. A great memory, no. <laughs> yes, me either. All right, finished? Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. So, who's missing, Alessandra? So, are you ready? Do you ready? Yes, I <laughs> Are you ready? So, please, Ale. ¿Quién quiere que te haga las preguntas? Choose a student, please. It's your option. Uh, Claudita? Say. Ah, excelente. No, okay. uh, Claudia, Claudia. Okay, thank you. Claudita se ofreció. Okay, Claudia, please, okay. the four questions. Go ahead. 
Okay, do you think this is uh, the alternative? Sure. For me, no, because I think they are living the zoo or jungle. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, in life, by the word bonded, is a refer to? Is refers to? Is the first is refers to. Mm, for me, it's something like like a secure. Okay. How did this the start of realize 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 that the elephant was going to fall I think that is with pepper, pepper mm -hmm. and candies. All right. Four. Okay. Do you think that you have any characteristic as the elephant has? Mm, yes. I have first two. I am an intelligent person and I am a social butterfly. Mm -hmm. And I work as a team too. All right, okay. perfect. Nice. Thank you so much, my dears. Permítame realme aquí. Okay, estamos. So, my dears, really good job. Excellent. So, I'm going to choose five students. I'm going to choose five students randomly. The first one is. Sigaran, please turn on your audio. Sigaran, I got a trick equation for you, but before to continue, could you please choose the next one in order to be ready? Portillo. Mr. Portillo, be ready with the same equation. Sigaran, this is a trick equation. It means like a, if you had the opportunity to be an, an animal, which one would you like to be and why? Mm, good question, but. A lion. Why? Because mm -hmm. they think are very strong, very fast. So maybe they did all that is in her hand, maybe, to to survive in the nature, in the wild. All right. Thank you. Mr. Portillo, please choose the third one in order to give us your own opinion. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, let me see, let me see. Uh, Sadie. Sadie, please be ready with this equation. Mr. Portillo, yes, please give us, go ahead. Well, uh, if I were if I were an uh, animal, I would like to be a chameleon. I know that this is a, this is a oh. small animal. Uh -huh. However, I like that the, the, their, their skin is underwater, so that is amazing. And also I like the way that they can come by their cell with the environment. Okay, Sadie, what about you? And choose the fourth one, please. Choose the fourth okay. one. Um, Anthony. Anthony, um, Mr. Valencia, be ready. Sadie, please go ahead. Okay, if I like animal, um, I like the eagle. Eagle? Eagle? E yes. Eagle. E eagle, sorry. Because can fly and egg can visit visited uh, many pretty pretty uh places mm -hmm. yes and all right <laughs> all right there are more details about the eagle but thank you so much okay and mr valencia choose the last student or do we have volunteer teacher i would like to participate in this question as a volunteer five four es perdón por el ruido Five, four, three, two. So, Mr. Valencia, choose the last one, please. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, let me see the list. I got Alessandra, Claudia, Gloria, Mariela, Nancy. Okay, Mariela. Mariela, be ready with the same question. Yes, Mr., give us your opinion. Uh, the same question there about what animals? Yes, yes, Mr. Okay. To be honest, I would like to be an aunt. Yeah. A aunt? Uh, aunt. What is aunt? I know who aunt, like a serious aunt house. I don't know if you see it. No, wait, this is the first, yes? Yes. Bo. Ah, old. Aunt, yes. Aunt. Oh, no, Sorry. muy bien. Ah, no old. worries. Okay, old. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would like to be uh, aunt because I really, I'm so, well, it does. Um, Mystery that I really like, I enjoy the night. Exactly, this is one of the kind of, hey, when some people, when, when a person say, I consider I'm old, is because number one, you like, you, you really enjoy working at night. 
yes, this yeah, is one it, of the characteristics. Yeah, I want the, the best moment that you can uh, focus in the mm -hmm. thing you are doing, no worries. Decide. Uh, uh, right. Also, mm -hmm. it, in my case, it's one of the relaxing moments because mm -hmm. I can hear any noise. Wow, really interesting. Yes, hay una teoría de 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 ese animal. Me encantó. Thank you, Mister. Please, I'm gonna let let me see. You said Mariela, right? Yes. Okay, Mariela, please. Señores, observen la lectura que tengo ahí. Okay, Mariela, thank you. Okay, um, for me, maybe Ashira. And, oh, nice. Yes, I I don't know, but I really like this animal. And, and they're so beautiful too. Yes, and are really strong and very fast. Mm -hmm. How do you say Ahiles? Ahiles, 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 Ahiles. Uy, I, let, let me see, let me see. Okay. Ahil, Ahil. Vamos a ver, permítame. Creo que es como Agile, Agile. agile. Rápido, ligero, nembo, no. Quick, no. Fíjate que viene siendo casi lo mismo. Agile. Agile. Yes, agile, agile. No, agile es la pronunciación. Sí, agile. Okay, agile. And agile. Yes, and I really agile, so I really like. And maybe this is my oh, option. Okay, no, that's a good option. Thank you guys. So thanks to all of you guys. Esa es la última dinámica de la clase ya. Les voy a explicar lo que vamos a hacer. Primero que nada, no, no, no le tome fotografías. No. Esta es la segunda parte de la lectura de Toffel, que hemos, la, la primera fue lo que, lo que leímos primero, bla, 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 que la historia. Esta es otra parte de los elefantes también en este caso que, eh, que salió en la lectura de Toffel, pero el punto es el siguiente. No le tome fotografías, ¿por qué? Porque yo tengo una evaluación de esto. Y no se preocupe, si usted sale mal en la evaluación, solamente nos va a ayudar a identificar que usted verdaderamente necesita leer más lecturas en inglés. Punto número dos. Yo voy a leer la lectura porque quiero que usted se concentre, porque si, si yo empiezo a elegir, etcétera, entonces no, yo voy a leer la, la, la lectura para todos ustedes y se trata de la manera de, 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 de no de memorizar, trate la manera de identificar palabras, observe las comas, trate la manera de identificar lo que usted considere. Porque después yo tengo una evaluación que ya se las voy a pasar y ya con eso finalizó la clase. Y al final de la evaluación, si no me equivoco, le va a dar la nota. Así es que, ¿preguntas o dudas antes de iniciar? ¿Puedo tomar notas, dicha? Yo le aconsejo que no. Aquí me está. No, yo le aconsejo que no. Porque acuérdense que en el TOEFL real no nos permiten tener más que el panfleto del TOEFL y un lápiz. Ni siquiera nos permiten borrador. Entonces, usted vaya leyendo conmigo y... Ya va a ver. Y, re, y otra cosa, lo que me sirvió a mí, relájese. Relájese. Es de simplemente una lectura. Ok, so. Elephants can grow to four meters tall. And they are the largest land animals known today. Elephants are remarkable similar to humans in a number of ways. They live as a family groups and demonstrate impressive problem solving abilities. Elephants have been hunting for their tusks or used as working animals in circuses. According to their bodies, there are no bones in, a, in an African elephant's trunk. But it does have around 40,000 muscles and tendons. Also, the gentle giants have different voices. Elephants produce most of their sounds using their larynx. Also, elephants travel a lot to satisfy their enormous needs for food. Talking about great trunk, elephants are highly affectionate and show their appreciation for another animal by touching them with their trunk. Another characteristic is elephants love mood. In fact, as soon as they get the chance, They wallow in muddy water. Ahí hay una palabra, wallow, okay? Females elephants get pregnant that last 22 months before to give birth. Also, birth, excuse me. Also, a short nap helps to ensure their weight doesn't crush the internal organs. 
An elephant has the capacity to perceive vibrations through their feet. Vibrations travel through their bones to their heads. Ok, señores. Les voy a mandar la evaluación en el chat de Zoom. Obviamente la persona que me vaya entregando, okay. bueno, aquí me va a aparecer de hecho la evaluación. Ya usted ahí se puede ir retirando de clases. Déjenme, déjenme modificar algo acá, por favor. Déjenme modificar algo acá. Ok. Eso lo van a terminar súper rápido, pero vamos a ver. Ok, señores, ahí se los mando. Ya con eso finalizamos. Usted finaliza acá su práctica. Esto no es evaluado. Esta es mi asistencia. Usted finaliza su asistencia y nos podemos retirar de clase. Señores, ahí está el link. Any questions? Any doubt? Ana, Tenemos que apurar, teacher. ¿Ah? No, no, me va a aparecer a mí porque está en Google Drive. Directamente me va a aparecer oh, okay. a mí. Sí. De hecho, aquí me va a ir apareciendo quiénes son los que van finalizando. Ok, guys, go ahead. Teacher, eh, disculpe, me pide contraseña de mi correo, pero en estos momentos lo voy a buscar, porque no lo tengo ah, quizás. Ok, pero yo creo que está accesible para todos. A ti no sé por qué te lo, te lo pide, me dejan saber. Guys, there is a mis, there is a mi, eh, permítame, tengo aquí, ok, ya te va, guys, there is, there is a mistake, I mean, I forgot to give the option to write your names, so, ay, teacher. Uh, miss, in my case, I'm doing it from the institutional uh, Gmail. Ah, okay. So, but for the rest of the students, yes, me, yes, no, Yara, maybe it's your internet. Te voy a enviar otra vez. Escríbanme en una de las respuestas. Ahí póngame su nombre, no todo su nombre, solo con solo que usted me ponga Jonathan. Obviamente, yo sé que es usted. Sí, es que lo que pasa es que les había puesto la lectura y al borrarlo se borró la opción de poner el nombre. Y tengo aquí dos respuestas. Solo me dejan saber de quién es. La mía, teacher. Nancy es una y Gloria es otra. Ok, de ahí el resto, póngame por ahí en alguna de las respuestas su nombre. Que por error le quité y no, y no quiero volverlo a enviar. 
Yo lo, lo volvemos a hacer. Si, si, si pueden, porque yo creo que ya no les va a dar la opción porque ya lo hicieron una vez. Pero si no, ya sé que son ustedes es de mi asistencia. Pero de todas maneras, ya sé que la única que faltó hoy también es Sonia, así que no se me va a complicar Creo mucho. Que no opción para, para escribir. Excuse me, mister. Creo que no para... opción para escribir. Espérame. Ay, ah, yes. Ay, teacher. No, ¿saben lo que voy a hacer? Ahorita le voy a tomar captura de los que están conectados. La única que, fa que ha faltado es Sonia. Así que no, no nos preocupemos. Esa es la solución. De todas ya maneras, no me permitió, teacher, volverlo a hacer. No, pues sí, pero no, lo que dije, ya esta es mi asistencia, ya le acabo de tomar foto aquí a la pantalla. La única que faltó hoy, 2 de septiembre, fue Sonia. Así que no se me va a hacer difícil. Así que no, chicos, no, no olvídenlo, simplemente contesten el, la práctica. Lo único que no voy a ver es qué notas sacan cada uno. Y sí me hubiese gustado, pero bueno. Teacher, y si le mandamos nuestra nota eh, con el nombre al chat. No, porque como esta es, este es solo mi asistencia. Si, ah, fuera, okay. si fuera evaluado, sí, pero es mi asistencia. Lo que pasa es que, va, por ejemplo, ahí hay un 6, no sé de quién es. ¿verdad? Entonces, me hubiese gustado como, vea, saber más o menos. Me preocupa que nadie ha sacado 8. Me preocupa que nadie ha sacado 8. 7 es como, ok, pero necesitamos un 8. Ok, me faltan tres. Ok, two people are missing. All right, one is missing. Ok, señores, muy bien, excelente. Chicos, eso es todo. Gracias de verdad por estar siempre eh, puntual en la clase. El día, nos vemos hasta el día cuando, nos vemos el día lunes. El día lunes. Teacher, cuando tenemos nuestro parcial de gramática, ya les voy a mandar la fecha, pero si no me equivoco, creo que lo tenemos el día viernes, porque esta semana que viene, señores, entramos a parciales. El mío de gramática lo tienen, sí, lo tienen el día viernes y el de didáctica lo tenemos el día lunes. Exacto, señores, día lunes, este lunes que viene vamos con parcial de gramática, de didáctica, de didáctica. Pero de todas maneras, también tengo la duda de, creo que obvia, obviamente el parcial va a ser presencial. Y de verdad, chicos, llueva, truene, lo siento mucho, no, no voy a poder pedir permiso por ustedes nuevamente. Así que el día lunes sí o sí llegamos porque es parcial. Y segundo, eh, lo que estoy por corroborar es si el parcial va a ser en papel, así como antes, o si en este caso se les va a mandar siempre un link, pero obviamente ahí de forma presencial. Igual sí. De, lo hacemos de una forma o lo hacemos de otra de todas maneras eso a usted no le afecta así que señores fue un placer, nos vemos el día lunes para su examen de didáctica señores, pase un excelente fin de semana y por favor no se olvide de practicar y es Nancy eh, tenía una consulta, vamos a tener clases esta semana sí o eso sí, al no, eso sí les iba a decir o sea, lo que en mi caso lo que voy a hacer, que la persona que vaya finalizando el parcial se vaya saliendo del salón, 
cuando yo ya vea que todos han finalizado y si todavía me queda mi tiempo de dar clase, este, obviamente volvemos a entrar y ya recibimos un poquito de clase ya para el siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Pero sí, en todas las materias va a ser así. Usted llega a su parcial y si hay tiempo de dar clase, se va a dar clase, ¿ok? ¿Ya? ¿O ¿Alguna otra okay, pregunta? Okay. ok, Señores, fue un placer. Feliz fin de semana. Nos vemos el lunes. Bye, people. God bless you. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher.